Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to art class. Hopefully you have read the read aloud book, Our Earth by Anne Rockwell. And in this book, we talk about the planet Earth. We live on Earth. We live on a planet called Earth. Earth is a round shape. It's actually a sphere. It's like a ball and it floats around out in the sky and it also spins around. And the earth has water, which is blue, and land, which is green, and sometimes brown if there's desert. So green means it's very grassy and has lots of trees. And if the land is brown, that means it's a desert and it's very dry. So the earth looks like this. This is a globe. This is the earth. This is what it looks like. The earth spins around out up in the sky and the blue part is the water and the colored part is uh, the land. And we live right here. So hang on, let me get this right. Uh, this is North America where we live up here. And this is the United States. And here is Newark, New Jersey, where that little sticker is. And down here is Florida and the islands. Some of you may be from Puerto Rico or for some from Dominican Republic down here. And then we have Central America and South America. And then over here we have Africa and Europe, different parts of the world. People come from all parts of the world. So our world, our earth spins around and we spin around on it, but we can't really feel it. But in honor of Earth Day, we're going to draw a picture of the earth. So here's my picture that I drew. I drew a round circle and the green and brown parts are the land, North America, Central America, South America, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Europe, Africa. Um, so the land is green and brown and the water is blue. These are the oceans, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and these white things, these cotton balls, uh, represent clouds. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Before we start that, I want to show you a picture of what the Earth looks like from the sky. So here is a picture of what the Earth looks like, taken from a satellite way up in the sky. And you can see the land, you can see Africa, and you can see, um, no, that's South America and North America, and all the white that you see are clouds. So that's why we're gonna add clouds at the end. So this is what the earth looks like from the sky. If you're way up in the sky, in a, um, if you were on the moon looking down, this is what it would look like. All right, so let's get started. First, we have to draw a big circle on our paper. So you can draw it freehand if you want, or if you need some help, I needed some help. So I found something round. It could be a plate, a paper plate, something round. I found this old clock. I'm gonna use it to draw my circle. So I'm gonna place it down and I'm going to trace around it to make a nice, round circle. Okay, so I have a nice round circle and now I need to draw the land, the continent. So first I'm going to draw North America. So it's kind of just squiggle lines. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look exactly like the map. Just draw some squiggle lines for North America and then we have South America and we have some little islands over here in the Caribbean. And then we have Africa. 
over here, and then we have Europe over here. Okay, so we have our land and our oceans. So the land is going to be green. You could put a little brown if you want in. So over here in North America, I know all the way over here is desert. So I'm gonna put some brown there. And I know that in Africa, there's some desert and I'm gonna put some brown there. And the rest of the land, I'm gonna make green. So just color in the rest of the land green. I'm gonna do it quickly just so that I can show you what to do. I'm not gonna fill it all in, but I want you to do it nicely. And I'm gonna color in all the land, green and brown and the islands. Okay, and then the ocean will be blue. So then I'm going to color in all of the water blue. All of the empty space around the land is water. And I'm going to color it in blue. And then when you're finished, it'll look something like this. And then if you want, you can take a cotton ball and pull it apart into little pieces and you can glue it on to your paper. Put some glue onto your paper with a glue stick and stick on the cotton and it makes it look like clouds. Okay, so today we are making a picture of the earth for Earth Day. You start with a circle, you add the land, and you color the land in green or brown, and then you color the water, and then you could add the clouds. I can't wait to see your pictures. Have fun, everybody.